morning everyone welcome back to the channel we're gonna do a draw with me today and those of you that don't know I'm Jennifer aka Jen Jen um, we're gonna do a draw with me again and um, I'm gonna work on my diamond painting which is um, uh, see I have no <laughs> lost my thought this morning <laughs> Um, which is the Egyptian Queen of the Snow Leopards from Diamond Art Club. Uh, it's a square and has uh, two AVs and I'm really enjoying it. As you guys can see, I'm almost done the first row, uh, which I usually, unlike the last one, the one behind me, I, you know, busted my butt on that one. But this one, I'm, I'm enjoying taking my time. So we're going to get started and I'm just going to talk to you about what's going on in the, in the you know the nut house of the wall family and so forth uh, so let's see um it's been it's been a really strange week <laughs> I am and while I, while I sit here and start I gotta put new my wax is being and I probably need to put new in because it's um, not picking up trips. And I need to reload my wax, my diamond pen. Um, it's been kind of weird here. And I'm, I'm not saying weird as in weird bad. Um, Justin has been kind of goofy all week. I don't know what that, you know, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um he uh I noticed it last week on Monday and he started coming out and just being goofy and you know whatever and I um I just asked him I said dude um do I need to be worried he's like no why and I'm like why are you being so goofy and he just looks at me like um I'm not and I'm like mm, okay and um but yeah he's been a little more goofy than usual been in a good mood which I thought was kind of weird because you know he's been cranky a lot and I don't know if it's because of my conversation that I had with him um, <clears throat> when we were going through all that you know crap about whether or not you know he wanted to go into the military or whatever and uh, so I finally called him out on it and I was like okay I'm confused and he just looks at me like what and I'm like okay why what's going on here nothing okay well, why are you in a good mood I just am. Can I be in a good mood? I was like, oh, okay. Well, come to find out, he had a job interview this past week. And he didn't tell me because he didn't want to jinx himself. So, I have I was, you know, we're kind of waiting to find out. The job interview was this past Thursday. And um, so, you guys, you know, keep your fingers crossed. You know, good thoughts, good vibes prayers you know anything um <clears throat> excuse me so he's been kinda hush hush about it until he told me he called me the day of the interview and told me that um excuse me he was gonna be late getting home because he uh had this job interview and I, was, and I told him I said well why didn't you tell me he said because I didn't want to jinx myself mom I was like okay that's fine so we're just keeping our fingers crossed I mean he's you know he's excited so we're gonna I had we haven't heard anything but that doesn't mean anything he could probably heard something and just not have said anything to me but um we're just gonna keep our fingers crossed because he wants a job and you know he asked me the other night if I was mad at him and I said why would I be mad at you and he said because I decided not to go into 
the military. And I said, well, son, that's your choice. I said, I told you I would back you. Whatever you decided to do, I said, you know, would I have liked for you to? Sure. But, again, I'm not disappointed that you didn't go. I said, but, you know, and I gave him my opinion. And I told him, I said, you know, this, this, where you're hunting for a job and, you and having problems, you know, finding one now, I said, you know, in a way, going in the military would have solved that. And that was all I said to him. And I just left it alone. So he's... He's been trying, and you know, and I give him credit. So that was the good thing. But yeah, he was just goofy all week. Couldn't figure out what the deal was. And when he finally told me, I just, I was like, okay. And so we're just waiting to hear. Uh, hopefully, we'll hear soon. Uh, he did call them. Um, yesterday and he you know he just told him that he was following up so we're just waiting because I guess they haven't made any kind of a decision yet and I told him I said you know it's called being patient and a lot of following up and he doesn't like doing that so it just that's where he gets frustrated a lot so we're just kind <clears> of <throat> we're just kind of waiting to see what happens and go from there so and we finally after all this hard work finally got his room their room somewhat decent the only thing I have left to do is to go in there and sweep their bedroom. The only reason that I have to sweep it with a broom is because um, my vacuum cleaner is broke. <laughs> don't ask me why. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, we uh, were thinking that because the contractors use my vacuum to clean up their mess and they didn't have like you know just regular whatever stuff that you put down you know that you pick up in a vacuum cleaner we're thinking that they broke my vacuum cleaner when they used it to clean up their mess and I'm not talking about just mess I'm talking about there were chunks of stuff in it and I wasn't thrilled so Miranda's boyfriend looked at it for me and we can't figure out why it doesn't work the only other thing we could come up with, it's possibly the motor. So, because of that, I have had to take to, I have taken the, because I can't vacuum, I've been using my broom to vac to sweep in the house and everything. And it's, oh my God, it's a pain. But, what can I say? So, And they, they finally got the room straight. The only thing they have to do in there is uh, go through those clothes. So this weekend, they're going to sit down and go through all those clothes because there's a mixture of dirty clothes, clean clothes, and there's stuff in there that I don't even know what's in there, to be truthful. That's, you know that's the thing so we're gonna go through all that and of course you know I was asked will you help sure I'll help that doesn't mean you know so we're gonna go through all that and get all that situated and figure out what you know they want and what we can send to Goodwill because that's where most of it's gonna go of the stuff I mean it's stuff like what what they can't wear anymore that, that's what I told them I said just find stuff 
you just need to go through all that stuff and figure out what you don't want and what's too small for you or you know whatever and mommy will take it to Goodwill and we'll you know go from there so they're not they're not looking forward to doing that which is fine I mean it's no big deal but um it's got to be done because their room was a sight it was just it was awful I have never in my life and I didn't even get to to uh, sweep in there yet just because I um, had a lot going on last week just myself just trying to you know get some kind of organization started around here it seems like that's that's seems like that's a never-ending battle with me I always I always say I'm gonna organize and I always start and then it's like I don't want to do it I really don't I don't feel like it I mean and it's not you know and I'm not using this as a crutch but there's some days that I can't my my poor knees won't let me do anything and so there are days that I don't you know but I mean my kids help out of course you know Justin doesn't like doing it and Skylar just kinda like looks at me like I'm you know do I have to but they know that there are days that that I can't do it so they don't really say anything um and then of course Wednesday little dude came home upset and I didn't really at first I didn't notice it and he came over and he was sitting there and I looked at him and I said uh because every day he comes in and I ask him I say how's school you know did you have a good day so I looked at him and I noticed that either he'd been crying or he was crying and I said uh what's wrong and he wouldn't tell me at first and I said, did you get in trouble in school? No. Well, well, why are you crying? And uh, he said, I couldn't finish my writing essay. What writing essay? Come to find out. They're doing some kind of an essay at school. And I forget what it's for. But anyway, I, don't, I can't remember. I don't think it's a contest. I don't think it's a contest, but everybody in you know the, the fourth grade was doing this essay, and I've said okay. He says, "Well, I had to re I had to put it aside because something about it, he had to restart a graph or something." And I thought, okay. I said, uh, "Did your teacher? Were you in trouble with your teacher because of this? No. Did your teacher make you redo it?" No, so why are you crying? I don't know. Okay, so I don't really know what the deal was with that, but I told him, I said, uh, son, I said, which I can understand why he was upset. You know, he, he showed me the, um, the rough draft of his essay. He did a really good job. And uh, I told him, I said, well, sweetie, you know, I don't, I said, is it due like tomorrow or something? No. Well, okay. And um, I told him, I said, well, tomorrow you just go in and you talk to your teacher, tell your teacher, well, you know, what happened. And I said, and I'm pretty sure, you know, you're not going to get in trouble. And that was his big, uh, I guess, big worry that he, you know, she was going to get upset. And I told him, I said, sweetie, you know, why did you have to restart your graph? I messed up. I said, okay, well, then just tell her that. I mean, it's, she's not going to, I mean, the least, the worst she can do is, you know, give you a bad grade. So I don't, he didn't tell me what happened. 
but he he was in a better mood after you know the next day he was fine so I don't I have no idea what that deal was but yeah I was just because I thought something had happened and or you know he gotten in trouble or something like that because he doesn't come home crying very much and when he does it's usually because you know something happened to him he got hurt or you know he doesn't feel good or you know some he got in trouble and when I saw him like that I was just but I get why he was upset I would have been too if I had to restart my graph all over and that would just you know that would have just made me not a happy camper and I told him I said son I'm sorry so that was his big thing and after that you know he was fine and I finally oh my gosh finally got my subscription for power director but okay here's the issue okay was uh went to do a video the other day and the subscription I paid for the subscription and everything now mind you when you go before you go to upload through power director you have to um, authorize it before when you go to anyway when you go to produce it and you go to turn you know put it upload it to YouTube it has to be authorized okay so for some reason that version wasn't authorized and I thought okay and I just started thinking okay is there a different version I need for this or what do I do I don't know what I did but it works I'm just hoping that it continues because I really really like doing it I really like doing it that way now that I know how to do this I, I, I really think it's cool and now that I know what to do after watching numerous videos that that twenty dollars a month is worth it so I'm just I'm glad that I got it because I really really enjoyed it um and it's so much fun there's so I just I never this is what I've been missing out on guys why y'all tell me this when y'all with photo edit with video editing nobody told me that that this program was cool I'm for, see I'm behind that's okay that's okay I don't use the voiceover on it just because I haven't tried but I haven't used the voiceover I've been using uh, the voiceover that's on my um that's on my uh the video the voice recording that's on my um laptop and just adding the file to it to my video because it's e it's so much easier I don't know why but I haven't tried to do a voiceover through power director yet so we shall see if that you know I might try and see what happens I mean everybody tells me not to but we'll see we shall see I'm still learning it so let's see what else has been going on here um I got my glasses see I like them better you guys can see them they're um there you go you put them down here in this camera <laughs> they're a uh, wireframe I the thick frame I didn't have a problem with but um it just got to a point where I felt like I was an old woman and um, so I just I decided it was time for a change 
and their glasses to me they were too big for my face so we'll see how these work out I like these better so the frame the the this part the glass you know this part is a little smaller than the last pair but um I, I'm getting used to them I, I'm enjoying them they're bad they, they feel better than they feel how do I put it a lighter I don't know what else to say I don't know what else to put it so I don't know and it was Valentine's Day as also on Friday and let me tell you something oh my gosh that's one day that I do not don't get me wrong okay I like Valentine's Day but when you have a nine-year-old that comes home he's hyper from eating candy at school already and he comes home with another bag of candy from all of his friends and then sits there and eats all of it even though I told him not to okay now I didn't know he did that I told him when he got home and I knew he was already a hyper I could just tell and he showed me all the candy and I said alright well you're not gonna eat all this candy at once okay I said because number one dinner number two you're already hyper as it is you don't need any more candy well let's just put it this way it was an interesting night the whole night I mean I just I, I've never in my life I, I all I could do was laugh that's how bad it was that's all I could do was laugh because it was that funny if that makes any sense I mean he just he was nonstop and I just looked at him and I said dude he's like what I mean he wouldn't even go to bed he had a hard time laying down relaxing and going to bed I just I just looked at him like really <sighs> but he eventually went to bed but he woke up the next morning kinda you could tell that the sugar high was gone and he just he was very very you know what do you put it he was lazy all day on Saturday so he was kinda I, I just I had to laugh because you know it was a complete total different he was acting like a demon possessed on Friday that's how it was and I just I had to laugh because I, I just I just looked at him like okay dude but um it was it was kind of funny I have to say because that poor child <laughs> he mm, and I told him, I said, you shouldn't eat all that candy. And he just looked at me like, but it was good, Mommy. Of course, he brought, somebody gave him a big sandwich bag. And I don't even know where the sandwich bag is to show you. But we gave him a sandwich bag with this whole thing of M&M's in it. And it wasn't just M&M's. They were the peanut M&M's. And, well, he was he was enjoying it and I told him I said you know I don't have a problem with you eating all this candy I said but you know don't spoil your dinner blah 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 well that just went in here went out the other and yeah so 
And of course he apologized right and left. But uh and then my best friend, she bought them bought Miranda. Scott Justin didn't really want anything. Cause Justin just, you know. Valentine's Day isn't his thing, I guess. But um And I also think because of, you know, Joe's, his ex-girlfriend, he wasn't, like, into the Valentine's Day thing. Which, you know, I can't say I blame him. And, um, so he, uh, he, um, didn't. I tried, you know, I was going to get him something, but he, uh, he didn't want it. And, uh, I got Skylar and my best friend got Skylar and Miranda stuffed animals. They had these big, huge stuffed animals at, um, at, uh, Walmart. Well, they had a life-size stuffed husky. And, well, I was going to get it for her. Or, you know, she was going to get it for her. Not me, sorry. And, we, you know, we were sitting there going through the bin trying to find it. And they didn't have any more. Well, that was kind of, you know, one of those things like really. Um, so I found her a... What about this big? And uh, then I found Skylar a, uh, I guess it looks like a German Shepherd. At least that's what he's calling it. And um, so they got those. And I posted, I, I took pictures of it and posted on Instagram and stuff. So that was their thing. And then Friday, night um Miranda's boyfriend made her dinner and then um he got her uh a little stuffed animal some chocolate and what else and they were like rose they're the roses but they're I guess they're they're not real, they're fake, let's put it that way. So she has a little thing, of, um, I guess plastic roses, because I, I didn't even like pay attention to what they look like. So she has those, so she got that, and I told her, I said, well, you're getting spoiled. She's like, what do you mean? I said, well, in five days, your birthday's coming, which her birthday's tomorrow. So I'm making her a cake tomorrow and because her birthday and Sky's birthday are a week apart I'm just gonna make the cake tomorrow and they have a little you know whatever party or whatever you call it so and then tomorrow I think, um, I think John said he was, or Miranda's boyfriend said he was taking her out to lunch. So that's, you know, that's going to be on their list of plans tomorrow. Um, and I bought Miranda. Miranda plays video games just like, you know, and I play too. I don't play a whole lot. And there's a video game that she really likes that she and I used to play. And, um. I don't know if any of you guys, you know, play video games. I know, you know, there's some of you that do. Um, but, um, and if you do, you know what I'm talking, and if you don't know what this is, um, I'm sorry. It's called Dragon Age. Well, we like the game. We've played it when we had 360, and um, we never could find it 
any other time. And well, we finally found it. And of course, you know, because we had gold, we had to, anyway, long story short, I bought it for her for her birthday. So, but, you know, I play it too. So she, uh, she, um, she asked me for it and we were trying to find it and we found it. So that was her one birthday present. I told her, I said, there you go. That's your birthday present. She just looked at me. So, because she asked me what I was getting her for a birthday. And I told her I didn't know. Because I had no clue. I had no idea what I was going to get her for a birthday. So, I bought that for her. So, that was her her thing. And we, her and I sat there yesterday and played that. And, of course, you know, that's what we did. That's what I did all weekend with, you know, Sky and, uh, Sky was played a video game with him, and um, that's basically all I did all weekend, except for Sunday when I did my live. And I don't know if it was me or what, but I just had it, just like I, I don't know, I just don't know. I, I just felt like I just didn't want to be there doing my live. I don't know why. I've never felt that way before. I don't know what the deal was. I, I don't know. I just, I, I don't, if it, I guess it was one of those moods. I, I really don't know. It was just like, I could really care less. And that's not like me. So I don't know what was going on. So I, I have no idea. And I kind of felt bad because, you know, I had to end the live early, which, you know, I'm sorry, you know, you, you guys need to understand. I, I, it's life. And I, you know, little dude was being his, you know, was being special and I just wasn't. And I think that's another reason why I felt like I should, you know, I felt like I just didn't want to be there because he was being... A little extra and he was let me tell you because after I ended my life oh that child and I thought you know and I thought it was because okay he's had chocolate again no he just I think it's yeah I think it's getting to the point he's at that age now and I think he's starting to decide okay I'm gonna act out I'm gonna push mom's buttons and see how far I can push her and he came close, I have to say, because I had to get on him a couple of times about the way he was acting and the things that he was doing, and because he was tantalizing everybody again. I mean, it, it was it was constant. He just kept going. He just kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. I'm like, really. So I had to pull him to the side and I told him, I said, look, you need to stop. And he got this look on his face. And I told him, I said, I'm not playing. And finally, he, uh, he realized and of course he started crying because he thought you know that he was gonna have to go in timeout and I told him I said no I said but I'm, I'm not gonna put up with this I said you're being again I don't know if it's CH I said but I'm not gonna deal with it and I'm like okay so he kind of, he calmed down and got himself together, but and then of course, Saturday night, I know I'm going back and forth here, guys. Saturday night, everybody's in bed and we're all laying there 
I don't know. I'm sorry. It was Friday night. And um, all of a sudden, we hear all this noise out in the uh, hallway in front of my apartment. And uh, the girl across the hall. I just don't know how to describe this, but anyway, she's she moved in, and well, the guy that she was dating used to live out here. Well, he was you know basically banned from the property. Well, anyway, long story short, you know she almost lost her housing because of him. Or apartment because of it. Well, now he's not here around anymore. So now she's, I don't know what her deal is, but yeah. And uh, they were doing some things out there, and I, I really don't want to know. And we ended up calling the police because it was very very loud it just I, I just I, I wouldn't even know how to describe it but it was loud and it was annoying and I got thoroughly 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 irritated and um, And I called the office yesterday, or I didn't call the office, but uh, Miranda's boyfriend told the manager yesterday, and uh, apparently she uh, is planning to move. And I'm like, well, okay, but that doesn't mean that she can just, you know, do whatever. And he agreed. So I don't know what's what that deal is. It makes no sense. Believe me. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um gosh, I'm almost I'm almost done with the leaf. There's I never there's so many colors in this leaf. <laughs> but that's okay. It's like okay. <laughs> but that's okay. We're we're good with that. And there's so many bright colors. Um, and then Saturday and Sunday and Monday, basically all weekend, I spent with them, with the kids. That's what we did. We just, you know, played me and Sky and Miranda played video games. Justin, he was in and he was, you know, in and out of his bedroom and came out every now and then. But, um, he didn't stay out there long. And, uh, that's basically what we did. And, um, that's really all that happened this weekend. I can't really think of anything else. That's bad. When so, but yeah, that was our weekend basically in general and our week in general. Um, oh, I did get some new nail strips. These, I don't know if you can see them. If not, I'll hold them up. This is Party Hardy from Color Street. And if you guys, and I have the other ones and I left those out in the living room. Um, you can order them on my, um, on my link that's in the description below. I think they're still in stock. The last I checked, they were. Because I was going to order some more, but I, I decided not to because you know next month is when spring comes and I figured you know it's time to start getting the the lighter colors out blah 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 so um hmm. 
that's it guys I couldn't I can't I thought I thought I said something else to talk about but I guess not um but that's it and I hope everyone has a great week thank you for watching and I will see you all next time